You're listening to the best local sports show. Boots, Bats and Balls on Six Towns Radio. Chills Bar, Baisley. Sponsors of Port Vale content on Six Towns Radio. Yeah, Adam Yates, fail season is only three games in, uh, but it still must have been a big relief to get them three points chalked up on Saturday. Uh, yeah, it was. You know, um, I think it was a, a good game for us on Saturday because you know we knew how Bradford were going to play. We'd, we played them a few times over the last few years. Um, their team only had really one change from from what we played last year, so we knew what to expect. And you know, I, I would imagine for, for for the fan watching, it was an entertaining game. Yeah, um, of course, Bradford were a good side, but Vale outplayed them for most of the match. They had a few patches, but you know, it was Vale game I mean any game you go into you know m- more often than not um, teams are going to have spells where they put you under pressure and mm-hmm. you know, we were no different on Saturday you know even when we played pool we still put teams under pressure um, you know I, I, I know we didn't play very well at Con- Colchester but they went through a stage where we you know we, we did get a few efforts on goal and, 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 they, and they were camped in their half um, and that happens in any game so you know we, we were pleased with how, how we went about Saturday um, you know the lads were pleased that they put on a good display um, and it was hard working more than anything else yeah yeah, um, it got quite heated in parts, especially Lee Hughes and McArdle. Um, I thought there's going to be more bookings that maybe are sending off in this game. Uh, you know, it, those sort of games, you know, I think Hughes is an experienced pro and he mm-hmm. knows what he's doing. And, and, that, and that gave us a lift at the time and he gave the fans a lift. And, you know, that, that's something he's, he's there for, you know, using ex- his experience. But, you know, I think he's, he's bright and. Uh, he's not naive enough to get sent off in a game like that. You know, we need we need eleven men on the pitch, and like the gaffer said to us at half time, you know, one one sending off um, for us, you know, could kill us. You know, it could cost us the mo- the points, um, and, and and you know we, that's something that we don't want. Um, uh, albeit the same for for Bradford, if they'd have got a man sent off, you know, I could have seen us going on and dominating the game even more than we did. Um, so it was pleasing. There was no sendings off. You know, I know there was a little tempers flared a little bit at points, but you know. That's what we want as a, as a football club, and that's what fans want to see. Yeah, it looked like from the press box he got kicked in the head twice on this touchline, but he put in a man of match performance, an assist, a goal, and that's what he's there to do. I mean, usually scored goals wherever he's been. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, even in training, um, if he comes in and he's feeling stiff, you know, and he's not. You know, working, running around in training. If the ball falls for him as a goal. You know, he's going to take it. Um, and I think you know, if you look at his performance on Saturday, he doesn't, he doesn't, um, you know, sort of mirror that of a 37-year-old man. You know, I think he, he put a lot of groundwork in Saturday, a lot of work off the ball. Um, and and you know, that's what he does. He scores goals and, and, and makes things difficult for the opposition. Yeah, then Bradford got back in it, and then Captain Fantastic pops one at the end. Doug Loft. Well, I mean, usually found him again, and, mm-hmm. and Loft is you know, sort of on his weaker side, really steered it towards goal. Um, and, and, and you know he's got a nick and gone in, so you know it's lost his goal at the end of the day, and uh, and that's that was a massive lift for us. Um, you know, it's, the gaffer said to us after the game, Bradford are going to be there or thereabouts come the end of the season, um, and you know if we can put a display like that in every week, you know we aren't going to be too far away from from the top half of the table. Yeah, you mentioned that um, you knew how Bradford sort of played, so you made changes, brought yourself back in, you put in a great performance as well. Do you think you're playing the best football of your career? I mean, I've had a, a good a good start to the season. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I've, I think I played well in the games. Um, you know, the, the 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 coaching staff think I played well in the games. Um, and I had a good end to the end of last season. So, you know, I just have to see how it goes. Um, you know, I, I, you know, he, he, he put in the in the press that I'd carry a nickel, which which I was last last week at Colchester. Um, you know, I did feel I could have played, but he, he decided to to rest a couple of lads who, who were carrying niggles and mm-hmm. you know, and then he brought me back in at the weekend, which I was was obviously pleased about. Um, and you know, I think a part of my game is. Getting Getting forward and putting crosses in, and you know if I can supply a lot of crosses to Tom Pope and, and back Jenna up as, as much as I can, you know, you know I'm doing my job. Yeah, uh, an indifferent uh, start for Wolves and Oldham in your next two games. Um, you got Oldham away on Saturday, a week on Saturday, Wolves at home. Um, you got to go into these games one at a time, aren't you? You are, yeah. I mean, I think you look at the the fixture list when it first comes out, and you look for the big games. You know, you look for the Prestons, the Wolves, the Crews, and the, the Shrewsburys, um, the Bristol Cities, Peterborough. You know, you look at those sort of fixtures, and you know it was pleasing for, for certainly the fans who've had a, enjoyed a you know a, certainly a long long period of, of unrest at this football club um, that the Wolves game comes so quickly in the season. Um, you know, and it's fantastic it's at home, and you know we are expecting a big crowd, but you know we need to look look at the game before that, which is Oldham, and it's going to be a difficult game up there. 
Um, you know, they've they've been in this league a number of years. They know what we know. They know what they're going to expect. Um, you know, we, it will be sort of uncharted territory for us. Um, but you know, then again, if we if we work as hard as we did on Saturday, you know, it's going to be an even contest. And if we can, um, you know, create chances and put balls in the box for the forwards we've got, you know, whoever's on the pitch, you know, we're going to score goals. Fantastic. Cheers, matey. Top man.